And we are back. So welcome, Summoners, to the Garena Low Collegiate League Summer 2017 Finals of the Metro East. As from Game 1, CDSL takes away one win for now. But for Game 2, let's see if STI can bounce back. We are your Shotcasters. My name is Vulcan, and with me is Gisto. Entering the Best of 5 Series here for the LCL. I mean, Vulcan, if I would describe that first game, the first word that comes to my mind is practically stomp. That was such a one-sided game, a very dominant win for CDSL. Even though SCI went in the undefeated team, it looked like CDSL was the undefeated team during that game one. And for this game, we have to see, can SCI bounce back from such a rather demoralizing loss, I should say. Demoralizing loss it is for STI, but let's see, can they bounce back? But right now, as far as I can see, CDSL, they know the game plan of STI Master Atsu was really targeted. And if game one, let's see if CDSL can push through, making the things happen, making the same plays. Seeing how CDSL was able to lock down Master Atsu at least very early, that was the condition. And that is why how other lanes also crumbled. Yeah, and CDSL, with these bands coming out, they are going to jump on to Lens Jin again, I do believe. They know how this pick works. They play around it very, very well. I do believe they will be locking this in. As for STI, what I want to see from them in this pick and ban phase, the adjustment, they need to pick earlier for Master Out 2 because during that previous pick and ban, he really got pinched and probably wasn't on his most comfortable champion. Like we mentioned, they need to put more priority onto their junglers and they're hovering Jarvan right now. Not just that, they they are taking away the Tom Kench of Sponge. Sponge has been using this Tom Kench very well in the semifinals, but now they will be taking it away since they were not uh, focusing on Sponge that much. But still, we know that he uses Tom Kench. I mean, right now, STI looks rather promising. Prioritizing for Master Alto is one thing, but let's see if that would work for them. Now, banning out the remaining champions of STI, the Nami, the Fizz, we did see Fizz on Pen in Game 1, now being removed. But for CDSL, Zoe and LeBlanc removed just in case for Bam Bam. Yeah. I don't think they're scared of TSZ because when you saw how STI, uh, rather, CDSL played mm -hmm. against STI, rather convincing, it made TSZ useless. Yeah, and now STI, they're hovering over this Galio, and if this is locked in, we're gonna get to see the classic Jarvan Galio combo that has been made very very popular where the Jarvan hops in and everyone's just in that lockdown terrain and the Galio just ults the Jarvan and you all get knocked up. So STI will have that combo in their house as for CDSL they will be locking down the Kane for the jungle and the Malzar so no jungle Morgana for PMA this game. So this will be a uh, top lane Galio perhaps? Let's see because when you're talking about let's say a Shen uh, I wouldn't say uh, oh, interesting. Interest, very interesting indeed because we are seeing right now uh, Kane Malzahar. Malzahar. Hmm. Malzahar completed. I uh, rather picked for CDSL into Rise. Is that okay? Is that a good matchup? I mean, Malzahar is a very straightforward champion. What he does is basically put this cursor on top of the champion you want to lock down, press R, and then you're just rooted. And if you don't have QSS or any other teammate to really help you out, you're just stuck there and if CDS are able to chain CC into that, especially with the Morgana, with a Jin, with a Shenton, you're practically rooted forever and you're just dead. So far again, this is the same draft we saw in game one, but in a sense that CDSL will still play, play around Lens Jin being given away again for the second time in this game too. Can SDI bounce back? We'll see once we load up into the rift. But right now, question is, can Master Out to come back from game one if he has a good start? Pretty sure that the other lanes have some confidence, can get more pressure and more assistance 
all throughout the map. But right now, CDSL getting a cane. Another jungler who is very much annoying to deal with. Not from the fact that it's very mobile, but also I would consider one of a better better options for counter jungling. Yeah, of course, Kane can hop around the jungle very, very. He's a very mobile champ in early game, and he does clear very, very fast. And looking at both drafts, what I see from STI, they have a lot of these semi-global ultimates with the Galio ult, the Realm Warp from the Rise, the Abyssal Voyage of the Tom Kedge, all these tools to go for cross-map plays and just play aggressively. And I really want to see them use those tools. As we load onto the rift for game two of this best of five with CDSL on the blue side versus STI on the red side. Well played indeed for a CDSL in game one. Right now, game two will be the stage if this could be match point for CDSL. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned STI. They have these semi global ultimates to possibly go for flank arounds and go for proactive plays. But with that in mind, you need to really take note of the Shen ultimate because once Winter hits level 6, he has his stand united. That's so much more global pressure that you have to deal with and you really have to respect that because a Shen instantly hopping into a fight can really turn the tide around. You know what I love about uh, Winter's playstyle? He has the traits, the characteristics, the characteristics and also one of the... Uh, Playstyles that what you expect from a high tier top lane. One of, one of which is love to push lane, loves to play very macro heavy, wants to push out the lane so that it opens up the map. One thing that always comes to mind when I hear a uh, top laner, one of the better, best top laners is, I would say, uh, GLC. Because the way he plays Shen, without a doubt, Shen becomes a bruiser, a fighter in the hands of the right player. Yeah, Let's see if Winter can be. One of those fighters. Yeah, and you mentioned Macro Heavy Vulcan. Maybe you can take some notes from him. I am. Apply it into your games. I think that I can learn a lot from JLC, one of the pro players in the PGS for Team Manila Eagles. But for top laners right now in the LCL, yes, they do need more macro. But right now, bot, top lane, bot lane rather looks rather hot. Spongy very low and gets the shot, gives the first blood to Damus. Yeah, and this is Deja Vu, I should say, except this time it's STI that goes for the early all-in. In the bot lane, abusing their level 1, they know they are stronger versus the Jin Morgana lane. And let's see, can this be the first steps of STI to even up the series? It is still fairly early, so we'll still have to wait and see what the junglers ooh, opt to do. Ooh. Hextech Flash in the hands of Wanna Baby. Yeah, but as you said, let's see. There wasn't an invade for Master Atsu. He has got he's gone through his first pathing. We just need to wait. Just to wait for the fact that maybe you might see a gank. But when you're talking about a Mazelhar, has the passive up. That is a Jarvan's nightmare. You want to get that knock up to set things up. So it's up to Bam Bam to set up the lane for this Jarvan guy. But right now, Meme with a cane going in. And that's going to be, oh, Jamie Lowe. Just walking it off. He does not need to burn his summoners for now. Yeah, pretty chill right there. Just walks up, brushes it off. Brush it's it fine. off. It's fine. At least this time, STI, they're looking more like the team that we are used to seeing in the group stages, in the semifinals, who, until up until now, you know, in game one, they did lost, went into the finals as a nine game win streak. Undefeated, but finally CDSL danced that record. But now STI, they look a bit uh, woken up. We'll see. They do have momentum though. After that first blood in the bot lane, they'll see can that translate into STI constantly keeping up the proactive moves across the map because that's really what helps you win in League of Legends. You need to be the proactive team. You need to get your leads, take them from the enemy. Don't wait for your enemy to make a mistake because what if they don't? Then you get nothing practically, so you really need to work. Be the more active team across the map. Go for these ganks, go for these rooms, and just get a lead off of that. And now we're seeing some action in the red side of uh, CDSL's jungle. Master Atsu making his way in. He's just in the red buff side, but Meme just taking down his Crocs. Looks like they will not see each other. There is a ward. 
A control ward placed dive. by Master Astro. Here comes the dive. And this is the playstyle that is very known to us. Len is in trouble. Four members diving in to the bot lane. That's going to be Damus it. taking him down. 201 KDA. Very clean standard gank from Master Astro. Yeah, they need to get out. I do believe they are safe at the moment. And this is what SDI has to do. They aren't waiting for Winter to get his tank united. They're beginning to dive the bot lane. Turret, perhaps, maybe, but it's a bit too early. Kane does have wave clear. Oh, They're going to try and dive him. Although, Master Asu tanking in two shots here. And another by Bam Bam. Where's the response from the mid? No, looks like Pen will not respond to the bot lane. But here comes Spocky. Lands the dark fire. Len goes in, buys him down. Ark coming for the proc. That's going to be the spell shield. Denying that devour. Wanna Baby still has the thick skin here. Oh, will really he pop it? He pops it in the nick of time, but still will be eating that dark buy for dinner. That said, Spongy gets him down. Yeah, STI, they stuck around a bit too long there. They didn't respect the respawns coming in from CDSL, and that's a bit of a consolation for CDSL, even though they did give up that dive, which was a very proactive move by STI. But oh. look at his mid tower. The Fordlings doing the works. Right now, the race in this game. Okay. STI, they took away. Oh my god, first. are they gonna take this? Oh, they took away the first blood, but now CDSL looking to take away the first turret of the game. What an early first turret for CDSL. Only six, six minutes, minutes in. in, the mid lane tower is already gone. And that's gonna force Bam Bam to stick around in lane because the Malzar will just constantly shove that in. That'll deny a lot of the roaming that STI wants to do. What a great read by CDSL knowing they can go for the push. Yes, yeah, so with that being said, that everything happened without the level 6 happening. But now, level 6 onto Winter, level 6 onto Jamie Lowe. Both of them have, okay, Shen has the advantage, has the global ultimate. But for Jamie Lowe, just a huge range, not global ultimate. Of, kind of global. I want to say global because there is still a range. Anything ultimate with a range is not global. That just has long range. But for the respawn, CDSL has the upper hand here. Yeah, definitely. And now that the stand United is up for CDSL, STI, if they want to go for the same proactive dives that we saw, they really have to respect that ability because the turnaround can just be instant once the shielding comes in. So far, seven minutes into the game, kill score. One, two, three. CDSL takes away the first turret, but STI gives the first blood to Damus. And another kill onto the Zaya. This can be their jewel in the palace. Yeah, but you mentioned that STI, they got the early gold lead, but with the tower going down, the gold lead is still fairly even. It's going to come down to whoever can make the more proactive move, like I said. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're seeing 7 minutes and 46, 40 seconds in. Let's see how CDSL can try and, you know, perhaps secure game 2. We don't know just yet, but for STI, secret level. It's going to be a Shen and Gallia matchup. Not that we're going to see any kills happening, but Winter will get the advantage. But looking at the flow, STI, they had a lot of pressure in the bot lane. Finally takes down the outer turret. Yeah, as far as kills go, the game has definitely slowed down. I think STI, they realize that the Shen does have his ultimate available, so they won't be going that aggressive yet. I'm yet to see though, they need to start pulling the trigger even more. They need to try and force out the Shen ult and then just immediately back off. And once it's on cooldown, try and go for another aggressive move. But speaking of aggressive moves, that's gonna be the lockup channeling onto Meme. He takes the Stan United. Submarine tactic and works here. The top will connect onto Bam Bam. Meme takes him down with that set. Three members goes in for that. He was used, but with Damon sweeping out the field. Pen gets in and it will be chunked down. That's gonna be as a stopwatch. Oh, really? Oh, for the save perhaps, but no. Damon gets the rampage trick. Four kills onto him. Exhaust burn onto Damon. Here comes Master Atsu channeling in. Connects the knockup and gives the double to Damon. Okay, Damon right there. He was just in the right spot at the right time. They were able to turn that around and they wonder can they take down this mid tower? Winter is here to defend. Kenny though on two or three members. I don't think Oh, here it comes. The current call to open up the map. Two, Teleport incoming. Looks three. like Jamie Lowe will be joining in. Those current calls, that pressure will not matter when you're seeing four members in the mid lane of CDSL. 
Yeah, STI, they don't want to make the same error they made in the bot lane and overreach for more because CDSL are responding now. The next large objective on the map is the Cloud Drake. And like you mentioned, not the most popular. I wonder, will either team try and go for this and open up new opportunities? Let's see if STI can take away this Cloud Drake. They do have the bot lane pressure, but for CDSL... That's for CDSL that's here. Oh, uh, first come, first serve basis. Yeah, and with this Cloud Drake going down, it will open up even more new opportunities. Let's see. Roll the numbers. Let's see the RNG at works. The next Drake is going to be another Cloud Drake here for CDSL. They have won the consolation prize, but for STI, we'll be taking in some of the prize money in the top lane outer turret. Yeah, and it looks like STI isn't as flustered as we thought they would be. Even though the first game was rather one-sided, I should say, STI definitely in a good spot at the moment. They have a comfortable lead, definitely manageable if you're CDSL. But STI, they still need to make more proactive, try and take more gold in their pockets. And they do have tools to that. Damas is fairly fed on this side. He does have five of their six kills. This is what I was talking about in game one, where if Master Atsu was not locked down, the team behaves differently. The team behaves aggressive. We saw the dives. Who let those dives? Obviously, Master Atsu with his Jarvan. Leading the tower dives, giving two kills for Damus. This will voyage. Coming in. Let's see the flag. At work. Pen will be... Oh, face checking. That's going to be the void case. But one of Mehmet cancels it out with his devourer. Here comes Master Atsu. Lock him down. Mehmet takes the burst. Now we see Pan in the scene. Three members scrambled around. Mehmet chunks him down, but Damus will be getting the upper hound. Now Pan, Len is going to be in the scene here with Pan. Has no more mana. That's going to be the taunt on to Len from Jamie Lou. Now two members of the tanks backing call. out. Opens up the map for the curtain call. Yeah, I don't think they're going to pick up any more kills here. And with that being said, STI, they pull the trigger, but CDSL immediately turn it around, playing the vision game very, very well, forcing STI to face check them. And that's a very difficult position to be in if you fight another team on their turf. You're going to have a tough time pushing forward. All right, we're nearing the 12 minute mark here. CDSL takes away at least some kills for a trade off instead. Kill score 5 7. Gold lead. Not that big of a difference. 2000 is very, very manageable. And that's not going to be something that CDSL should be flustered. Seeing how they were able to take down the uh, first turret, mm -hmm. the first Drake. The next Drake is Cloud. This could potentially maybe be in the late game where if they get the Elder, the Cloud Drakes can be useful in a way. But let's see. Will it reach that far? And you mentioned STI. They have a manageable goal lead. But a lot of that gold is focused onto the Zaya. She's the most fed member on STI, and if CDSL are able to lock her down and kill her instantly before a fight starts, the gold lead of STI is practically gone because it's all on the Zaya, and without QSS yet, if she doesn't use her Feather Storm at the optimal moment, CDSL, they have enough tools to burst her down, lock her down, and kill her. Perhaps the Great Depression can happen for STI if they lose this Zaya, all their money, all their investment down the drain. So, what should you do? Put it into stocks? No, just take it out of the stocks and now just protect that money. Protect Damus and make sure that he stays alive. They Right now, they need to peel. They have the top they, they have the, have the Galio. But now, in the mid lane, that's going to be a double lockdown. On to Bam Bam. Dark Buy and Void Gaze all at work here. Petrifying is will not, uh, Void Gaze will be the killing blow for you. Yeah, and there's really not much you can do unless you have QSS versus that. But Master oh, hopped in. Look at that. An extended knockdown for a two man track black combo coming from Master Alto right now. Todd will connect onto Here comes, Lance. Here comes Winter for the protection. But Master Alto will not let him escape just yet. Damus is very low. Pops the Fetter Storm. And Mehmet almost got the kill. Damus had the flash. What an outplay by he Damus. will survive. Can they chase down Winter? Spongy is here. There it comes Can Winter. They go for more? Gets the slow, but Master Alzu is not giving up chase. Abyssal Void oh, they is here. There is the flag. SDI looking a bit more confident. Looks a bit more powerful. Now it takes down key members. And now, possibly, two turrets. They have to spawn the Rift Herald. The kite back from Damus was excellent during that team fight, and he really carried 
STI for TDSL unfortunately weren't able to take down the goal lead of STI. They weren't able to get the Zaya. Great use of Thunderstorm as well, dodging out of the damage from the Umbrella Trespass. So great play from STI's AD carry. And not to mention, Dame is really holding on to the flash for the right timing. Looks like Realmore will be used for Bam Bam. He has failed to steal the blue buff. He did get out though. That would have been very risky and looking back at this fight. This is great awareness by SD. Even though they didn't have their mid laner, they knew they could take this fight because Pen didn't have flash. There's no escape from this. And look at that three-man knockout with the hero's entrance. Just sets up everything. Plus, Jamie Lou with the Justice Punch and knockout just sets everything for Damus. But let's look at Damus for his outplay. Look at the Feather Storm for Damus. This was really clutch. He had to dodge away from the damage of the Umbral Trespass. And flashes away. That is great timing. Yeah, and that's just what you have to do on Zai. You need to kite back, position your feathers, and absolutely shred the opposing team. So great turnaround by SDI despite the disadvantage in terms of numbers. Now looking at the map, we are heading into the mid-game point, 16 minutes into the game. The goal lead has risen a bit for SDI. It's now hovering around a 3k, 4k mark. Still manageable, I should say, for CDSL. They still have tools to go for these fights. I still don't see a QSS on any of the members of SDI. So if Pen chooses to go in with the Malzar ultimate, there is practically no escape. And the only escape they have is the black shield from the Morgana. Well, maybe. Six in a second, and the four. That's not gonna be too much damage here. So, right now, Pen will be putting out the void gaze. Oh my oh, god, Damus. Baby. And now Damus is pretty much fed here. Double kill going onto the support. Now Len will be slow. There's the blast gun for the safety, but ooh, very clutch here. Abyssal Voyage for the flag. Here it comes. Let's see. Will Len survive? Jin is fairly fast though. He does have a Cloud Drake if it... I think it's out. He's out in the safe, he's in the safe zone. But at what cost? Two members of CDSL were removed in the map. Oh, the two, two. Oh, they actually got him. Look at that. Very aggressive, but looking back, they used the Malzar ultimate onto the Tom Kench because if they used it on Damas, he would have been able to feather storm out. He would have been devoured by the Tom Kench. So really not much of a choice right there. And Damas, knowing that that threat is gone, immediately turns around and absolutely destroys CDSL. This is the STI I saw in the semifinals. And now moving on to the finals, this is how they played it. And now they looks like they've woken up. Now they're playing it so yeah, they're online now. They're online, they're ready, they're now They've had their morning coffee. <laughs> morning coffee. It's in the afternoon. They've had their breakfast. They had their brunch maybe, but we'll see. The Cloud Drake is being taken away by secret level with that innovation. This will even out the movement speed bonus. Perhaps so they can at least catch up to the members of CDSL. Yeah, and with that being said, I think it's another Cloud Drake. Yes, it is. Okay, so two Cloud Drakes on the map. Who will get the third? Maybe whoever gets the third will be the faster team to okay. take down the Nexus. The fast here. Let's see. Three members. Red Buff is being contested. Winter goes in for the taunt. Will not connect on the Master out. So there comes. Here comes, however, the heroic entrance. Uh, will not connect in any knockup. Let's see. We are seeing Pan closing in. He may use the Void Gaze onto the high priority. Look at that knockup coming from Mamet. Stan United will be there for protection, but at that point, that's Here comes Damus. Damus for the flag here. Let's look at Damus. He will be chasing him down, but there will be an escape for Winter, Pan, and Spongy. Hold that thought. Abyssal Voyage, it is here! That's gonna be SDI Have they extending the fight. One of baby cancels the Void Gaze, but Len takes the shot. Here it comes, the curtain call. Can he get the fourth shot though? CDSL, they immediately turn it around. SDI over aggression, they overreach again for that fight. Even with the Fed Sire, they weren't able to clean up the rest of the members for off CDSL. They waited long enough for Len to arrive and that really shifted the fight in favor of CDSL. And man, this game back and forth we see these two. And not just that, very close call indeed for the CDSL if uh, Damus... Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Look at that flash in from Damus for the kill <laughs> onto Spongy. Yeah, I mean, the crit, man. <laughs> that is... Essence Reaver static ship, you're not gonna go home, you will have mana for days, but let's look. This is a very messy fight because you're fighting a choke point. Things can get really, really heated. Red buff even in the middle of all of this chaos. 
But looking back, Len still wasn't here. So CDSL was pushed back. The AD carry wasn't in the fight yet. And that allowed STI to win the earlier parts of this. But unfortunately for them, they waited long enough for the Jin to arrive. Yeah, and looking at this, STI, they were winning the first part, but they overreach. This is over-aggression from them, and the Jin is already here. And Winter still survives that onslaught, and heal was used by Bamba. At this point, Bamba was just a walking uh, target practice because he has no mana. And with that said, extended team fight not in favor of STI. CDSL takes some... Uh, minor prizes here, more of a consolation. So right now, Meme will be uh, taking the uh, dark in form. So it looks like he will be offering a lot of crowd control. We did see the three-man knockup. If, 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 in my opinion, if Damus was there at the right time, that would have been a great time. A choke point like that? Stack your feathers? That's so. That yeah, that's definitely where Zaya wants to fight. But with that said, an extended team fight did not favor them, but let's see. The Baron is live right now, 20 minutes into the game. Now we are reaching the 21 minute mark. And we always mention the Baron dance. It can work with you, it can work against you. Let's see, both teams, they're gonna be pressured to try and lay down vision here. They need to be very careful, they need to group up as a team and not get caught out of the warding. Let's see how things will pair up for uh, CDSL, though. I mean, this is not a huge uh, an obstacle that CDSL can, you know, not overcome. We see it in game one. But let's see how. STI already showing themselves, trying to get the upper hand. Yeah, one thing I'd like to see STI do is to stop overreaching once they win the first part of the team fight because it has costed them a lot in this game. Earlier in the bot lane dive and during that well, previous that's what looks fight. like Master Atsu really itching. That was a very aggressive approach from a Jarvan. Having to flash up, if his fingers are a bit too hot, he could have went in and all in this clump because we're seeing a teleport by Jamie Lowe. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the Baron Dance happening right now. It's STI trying to push forward. Oh my Spongy's god! Chunk. Spongy again, the victim to Damus. The two-man knockout will happen. Looks like Damus will be going in and out with the Fetter Storm. That'll be the board case. Oh, they got a Zaya. They got the Zaya, but at what cost? That's going to be Meme cleaning up the field. Double kill for him. And with that said, three members down for CDSL. STI only lost two, but Jamie Lowe is blinking red. Will not join in the fight. Meme has the red buff, has the blue buff. They can't he, kill him. He can take it on. He has the mana, has the regeneration, and they don't even have enough damage. I wonder how much can Meme take here because I don't think SDI has enough damage to actually take him down. Take, he's not going to run away. That fish is a dead meat here. Master Atsu. Get him. Confused. Does not know. Should I go into the fight again or not? Here comes Jamie Lowe. Here comes another Meme challenger. Going for a 3v1. Now in a 2v1. He gets knocked up. Has Still, still has going. the red buff. He is immortal. He will not die just yet. Getting a knock up onto Jamie Lowe. He cannot escape. The binding will connect. That's oh going to be Jamie God, Lowe. Locked down. Meme with the extended team fight will be on a rampage. Meme did so much work during that fight. And look at this. Look at them. Even though they took down the Morgana early, look at the amount of focus they put onto Damas. Everything. Onto the Zaya, even through Featherstorm, even through a Tom Kench trying to protect you. See, they'll toss everything at him and they take him down. And Meme at the back end of this fight did so much work. He literally carried the rest of the fight alone for CDSL, regardless of how many enemies he sees. Let's sum it up. Meme actually stalled long enough for him to take down uh, Jamie Lowe, who Master used. <laughs> Master is so confused on what to do. <laughs> when you're that confused and you don't want to start a fight, Master Atsu knows that he can't start a fight. He wants to recall, but Jamie Lowe forced another team fight here. Master Atsu was very decisive in the fact that he didn't want to go back in, but seeing how much came, a red cane, the darkened form has incredible, ridiculous regeneration. That would be at a cost of a teleport. So Winter now has a teleport advantage. He can split push with the Shen, already completing his necessary items, the Titanic Hydra and the Omen.
Yeah, you mentioned Shen's split push. Right now, he isn't in the optimal position, really, because the lane is pushed up towards him. He will be able to push the, this lane out fairly oh, soon. Wow. He is pretty squishy, though, if Deimos is clicking him. Is it, the, is it the fact that, let's say, Winter is squishy or Deimos is just that fed? Well, I think if you go for a Tiamat build on Shen, you definitely deny yourself Baron. some of the... Oh, Baron is being started best yet. Let's take our call. Who will take the Baron? Flash in. Baron goes oh to my God. ESL takes the Baron! Heroic enters coming in, and that's gonna be Master Atsu locking down three members, zoning out the three members. Damus with the Feather Storm doing the work here. Damus is healthy. Meme backs out with the Tetris Pass, but still, look at that's Ren. It. He will survive, and that's going to Four. be the Quadra kill and the ace for STI, uh, CDSL. That was a crazy team by Baron Steel and four kills for the Jin. Just the proper amount of bullets to clean up SDI. And this game just broke wide open. One team by, like we mentioned, the Baron can work with you, can work against you. And right there, it worked with CDSL. And now they're knocking on the mid lane inhibitor turret. What happened there was STI. Master Alza really tried his best. To stall, but once he once they lost the Baron, he went into four members, locking them down. Let's see in the replay here how the fight broke. This out. is very aggressive by STI. Unfortunately for them, they weren't able to secure the key objective, the Baron. They also weren't able to get out Look with the here. Realm Warp. And if you die four members as a fairly squishy Jarvan, you are gonna get bursted down. Even with that massive taunt by Jamie though, there wasn't enough instant follow-up and focus onto the rest of the members of CDSL. They're able to reset the fight right here and chase down Damus and quadrikill as well for them. And what happened there was, I would say, to add that Damus used up his feathers. And once you use up your feathers, this is Len's time to shine. But let's not forget the fact that CDSL... SDI need to run away here. They have the gold lead in their favor, but at this point, gold is not that big because we're seeing at a very even pace here. The ace was secured by CDSL. They also took down the Baron. Yeah, I think at this stage now, the gold will be irrelevant. But what is relevant is Damas from STI. They need to watch out for that because if you let the Zaya wreak havoc in team fights, he will absolutely crush you. But for CDSL, if they're able to take down the key target, the only member of SDI that deals substantial amounts of damage at the moment. That's a huge win for CDSL. Right now, 27 minutes, 27 minutes into the game here. SDI has started the Baron and lost the Baron. So, mm -hmm. we'll be forced to defend. CDSL are pushing in here. I do like to note though that the Zaya has now completed QSS. So that's one more layer of safety. What can they go for? Let's see. I mean, the CDSL, now they have the Baron buff. They will just be playing the standard you know, pushing power here. That's the situation. He's fact ignoring that, Jamie though at the moment. Also the fact that they have the Baron. And Pan will be the victim towards the lockdown. Overextending and being out of position here. Ooh, that will. That is a massive pick for STI, denying the Malzar ultimate, but... Oh, Master Asa very low, will be forced to back away. A Beastle Voyage is coming in, one of them will join the fight. Five members already on the zone. That's gonna be Mame with the Guardian Angle, still has the protection here, but looking how Winter kinda got left behind here, he did not expect the collapse that quickly. Yeah, for the next 30 seconds, it will be a 3v5 on the map. CDSL got a bit too split up there, and STI knowing that CDSL weren't strong as five. They forced the fight right now. They will be barreling towards the mid lane. How can CDSL hold? 20 seconds uh, left. 27 seconds left on the Shen here. Pan will be responding just in time. But with Damus, this Fed, this Zaya will be pushing in with the help of his team. Demolish will be at work here and they have Pen taken up down. Now. They need to not overreach because if Ooh. some sort of CC lands, it's going to be very hard for them to run. Damus will be backing off. Let's see. Curtain Call is not available for... CDSL are hot on their tails, though. And they're still chasing them down. Here comes a collapse Oh, here. Damus! Damus being locked down. Uses the Fenestorm reposition, but still Memes on the zone here. Oh, my God. 
Japan just got Damus. That is bad news for SDI. They don't have any more damage dealt anymore. Pen gets the Void Gaze, and that's going to be Meme doing the works with the crowd control and with this cane. That is going to be SDI hunted down by CDSL. Yeah, and all of a sudden, 30-second death timers. I wonder how much can CDSL take. Even though they traded 80 carries, it is critical that SDI don't lose theirs. And with the Zaya gone, it allows CDSL to clean up the fight. What they're doing right now is stalling. They do not want Jamie Lowe to go back. And Deja Vu, I've seen this before in the Baron Pit where Meme was just wither him down. And at this point, it's more of a practice for Spongy to land yeah, his Dark Binding. I don't think he can run away from this cane. Could oh, really? Be. He does have the double stack of the Cloud Drake and the Flash there. Abyssal Voyage in. This is two members caught off. Spongy, very low. We'll try and back away. Pan does have the passive. We'll deny the slow. Meme now forced to take down this blue buff, but let's see what happened. And the red side. Okay, this is a decisive call by STI. They wanted to go for the team fight. Unfortunately, Damas, he stepped too far forward. And even though both teams traded 80 carries, like I mentioned, it is critical that Damas doesn't die for STI because he's their only source of damage. And with that being said, Meme, he absolutely destroys the backline of STI here on the cane. They're able to clean up. And this results to the inhibitor being taken down mid lane. So very well played team fight by CDSL. That was well played indeed. Going towards for their win condition. Not just that, getting the upper hand. A trade of an ADCs. Okay, that's pretty okay for CDSL because they have Kane. They have the mouth upon. But it is not okay for SDI. It's not okay. All the gold was focused onto Damus. But right now, I think Bamam can deal damage, but. When you're talking about a rise, it's kind of tricky because you have to stack it up. You have to set things up. But for Damus, it's the same thing. But at least Damus has that sudden burst thanks to the static shift, the infinity edge, plus a lot of damage. You mentioned Damus's items, right? I want to note that he sold his QSS. He does not have cleanse anymore. So if the Malzar ults him, you only have the Tom Ken to save you. And with Baron being up at the moment, both teams definitely eyeing that objective. We are back to the Baron dance. And that's what turned the game around for CDSL after SCI tried to go for a very aggressive take on that. You, must, you need to be very careful, my friend. Very careful. And also for SCI, if they want to start this uh, Baron, we do see Winter in the uh, bot lane. He does not have his teleport, but has the stand United. Okay, CDSL, they're forcing SDI's hand here. Will you deal with the Baron or will you deal with his split pushing Shen? This is a very hard decision for them. I think SDI, they want to fight. This is a, this is an advantage for CDSL. Note that Jamie Lowe does not have teleport, so they will have the upper hand. Here comes the board gaze, but Bam Bam cleanses it out. That's going to be Master after dunking down Pen. Immediately escapes. Heroes enters coming in. Pen gets down into the air. But let's look at Damus. He has been zoned by Meme, leaving Len to just chunk down Jamie Lowe. Oh, he does it, Damus! Master Atsu, Winter now on to one of baby. Bam Bam very low. Damus has to deal with Winter very low. They're trying to back away. Len gets exhausted. This is going to be the turnaround. Damus will come out on top. Yeah, only Meme alive for CDSL, and there's still many members alive Baron for SDI. Man. What can they go for? They can go for the end. They can go for the Baron. It looks like they're trying to push down. Let's see. Bam Bam. Cannot really... He's very low, so let's say he does not want to risk it. But looks like they will be trading up inhibitors. CDS. They're not going to go for the Baron. They they're going for buildings. They're going for the turrets. Let's see. Meme is on the scene here. Oh, he cannot defend that. That's a lot of minions plus four members onto you. This can set up for the Baron. Well, Morph is coming in and they just back away, leaving behind two members. Ow. Oh, they need well, to get out. They need to get out. That's going to be more of a misplay here. Looks like Damus gets uh, the safety here. On the trespass. The There's, the coming in. There's the knock up. Oh, oh we got Damus. It does not matter if I die. As long as I take down Damus, it's a worth. And now, CDSL closing the fight, cleaning it with the curtain call. Bam Bam uses the, you know, he does shed it off, but still, Pem dealing so much damage. Yeah, the death timers are super long. SDI, they stuck around for a bit 
too long right there. Unfortunately, Damas, he overextended with that being said. There is no jungler for CDSL at the moment. Master L2 is up if he can go for his steal once he gets close. This enough. is very risky. It this, is possible. This is not a 50-50. They do not have Meme. They don't have a smite. Let's see. Master L2. This might be the turning point of the game, Vulcan. Could this be in favor of SDI this time? They're waiting for the fourth bullet. Here it comes. That's going to be... What? CDSL still takes away the Baron. Living behind Jamie Lowe. Forcing out his flash, Master Yasuo could not smite the Baron. That was a very smart decision by CDSL. They waited for Jin to load his fourth bullet, and that is what they used instead of the smite to secure the objective. With Baron on the side of CDSL, they will be able to use that to push down versus STI. Sad that Meme was not able to receive the buff, but four members taking the Baron buff. The second Baron of the game goes towards CDSL. And another steal attempt failed by Master Alton. Yeah, let's see. How will the rest of this game pan out? Because the gold doesn't really matter that much at this stage. Even though for SDI, we mentioned that Damas was their main source of damage. Bam Bam on Rise has scaled up now. He has enough damage to deal the members of CDSL. They just need to watch out for the Rise as well now. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're nearing the 36-minute uh, mark. Now to the 37. Elder Drake will be live in ooh, pretty quickly. So, uh, we're going to see seconds. a fighter erupt again, Vulcan. I mean, the Elder Drake, it's a storm brewing. And once the teams converge there, it'll just explode. Let's see. They're just testing each other out. Dark Binding will connect, but... No crucial. Damus, however, still. Damus is playing super aggressively. See, they have to be really careful because all their damage is onto Damus. If he's being removed, no matter how healthy the members of STI are, Pan can just uh, shred Bam Bam. Will not matter. Even with the QSS, he still dies to this Malzahar. Yeah, and now. Elder Drake being started by STI. It's going now fairly quickly. How can CDSL respond? Master Alto is here. They will be taking away the Elder. And that is a huge team fight. But for the next two minutes or so, STI are a very, very scary team. CDSL, they need to stall time. They can't look for a fight on STI's grounds. They need to burn this buff. They need to just defend the waves. Try and stall till we are fighting on even ground again. Let's see. Elder buff versus the Baron buff. Looks like Master Asu will try and make some room here. Pen. Oh my god. We're gonna see a fight. Oh god, Damus. Very low in health. There's the Solari for the protection. Hero's entrance has been used. There's the redemption for the reason. Damus is still healthy. Let's see. Here comes the Fetter Storm. A great lockdown by Master Asu though. Setting up for the Fetter Storm. But that's gonna be a suppression from oh, the Mazahar. Len with a burst. Mame with the crowd control will be sweeping the field. That is not enough protection for Damus. Yeah, what insane team fight execution by CDSL. They win versus a team that has the Elder Drake. And with that being said, they are going to be able to run down mid for the win. I don't think Bam Bam can defend this, but still, knowing that the mid lane's inhibitor for CDSL is down, this is the minion in favor for uh, STI. So 20 seconds. Bam Bam did it base. Let's see. Can they take this down? I think they can. Oh, God. Let's see. Is this CDSL moving on Nine. to match point? Nine seconds left on one baby. Bam Bam being stalled by Spawn Chain. I think that's it. That's going to be game set. CDSL will not wait anymore. We'll take away game two. We are now at match point for the Metro East Finals. What an insane back and forth game coming from both of these teams, really. And credits to CDSL pulling out the comeback in the end. They were able to out team fight the members of STI. And match point already for CDSL. Can a reverse sweep happen? Uh, let's see. However, if the reverse sweep can happen for STI, that was an explosive game to where it was back and forth. STI looked like they were awake. But still, CDSL, they are so used to their playstyle that they were able to take away two Barons. That was a goal. That global goal itself is more than enough. Yeah, but still, 
good signs from STI. It, weren't, it wasn't as one-sided as the first game, so definitely making progress in that department. I wonder, will it all come together in Game 3? Let's see. Once we come back from our short break, we have been the Shoutcasters. My name is Vulcan, and with me was Chisto. You just watched the Garena Lol Collegiate League Summer 2017 Metro East Finals. See you after the short break, continuing the best of five series for STI versus CDSL. Oh, face checking. That's going to be the void case, but one of Mehmet cancels it out with his devourer. Here comes Master Astro locking him down. Mehmet takes the burst. Now we see Pen in the scene. Three members scrambled around. Mehmet chunks him down, but Damus will be getting the upper hound. Now Pen, Len is going to be in the scene here with Pen. Has no more mana. That's going to be the taunt on to Len from Jamie Lou. Now two members of the tanks backing out. Opens up the map for the curtain the call. Call. We're not connect out the master out there comes here comes however the heroic entrance uh, we're not gonna get any knock up let's see we are seeing Ken closing in he may use the void gaze onto the high priority look at that knock up coming from Mehmet Stanley and I will be there for protection but at that point that's here comes Damus Damus for the flag here let's look at Damus he will be chasing him down but there will be an escape for Winter, Pan, and Spongy. Hold that thought! Abyssal Voyage, it is here! That's gonna be STI Have extending they the fight. One of maybe cancels the Void Gaze, but Len takes the shot. Here it comes, the curtain call. Can he get the fourth shot though? CDSL, they immediately turn it around. STI, oh, oh my Spongy's god! Jump. Spongy again, the victim to Damus. The two-man knockout will happen. Looks like Damus will be going in and out with the Feather Storm. Now with the board case. Oh, they got the Zaya. They got the Zaya, but at what cost? That's going to be Mehmet cleaning up the field. Double kill for him. And with that said, three members down for CDSL. STI only lost two, but Jamie Lowe is blinking red. Will not join in the fight. Mehmet has the red buff, has the blue buff. They can't he, kill him. He can take it on. He has the mana, has the regeneration. No, Baron. And they oh, Baron's being started by STI. Let's see current call. Who will take the Baron? Flash in. Baron goes oh, to CDSL, takes the Baron. Heroic enters coming in, and that's going to be Master Atsu locking down three members, zoning out the three members. Damus with the Feather Storm doing the work here. Damus is healthy. Meme backs out with the trespass, but still, look at that's Ren. Three. He will survive, and that's going to Four. be the quadra kill and the ace. Man, Four. Still chasing them down. Here comes the collapse. Oh, Damus! Damus being locked down, uses the Feather Storm, repositioned, but still Memes on the zone here. Oh my god! Ben just got Damus. That is bad news for SDI. They don't have any more damage dealt anymore. Ben gets the board case, and that's gonna be Meme doing their works with the crowd control and with this cane. That is going to be SDI hunted down by CDSL. Yeah, and all Does of a not sudden, have teleport, so they will have the upper hand. Here comes the board case, but Bam Bam cleanses it out. That's gonna be Master after dunking down Pen. Immediately escapes. Heroes enters coming in. Pen gets down into the air. But let's look at Damus. He has been sold by Meme, leaving Len. He just chucked down Jamie Lowe. Oh, he thought it did Master Atsu. Winter now on to one of baby. Bam Bam very low. Damus has to deal with Winter very low. They're trying to back away. Len gets exhausted. This is going to be the turnaround. Damus will come out on top. Yeah, Baron only Meme alive. Okay, Master Atsu will try and make some room near Pen. Oh my god. We're gonna see a fight. Oh god, Damus. Very low in health. There's the Solari for the protection. Hero's entrance has been used. There's the redemption. For the reason, Damus is still healthy. Let's see, here comes the Feather Storm. A great lockdown by Master Alto, though, setting up for the Feather Storm, but that's going to be a suppression from oh, the Mazahar. Len with the burst. Mame with the crowd control will be sweeping the field. The game set. CDSL will not wait anymore. We'll take away game two. We are now at match point for the Metro East Finals. What an insane back and forth game.
Not enough Garena shells to buy the latest League of Legends skin on sale now? Get shells anytime, anywhere with your Globe or Touch mobile number. Go to gamer.com.ph and sign up with your mobile number and enter the verification code you will receive via SMS. Log in and choose the game and pin you want. Check out to purchase the pin with your load or through your postpaid account and receive the pin on your phone instantly. Never miss a sale on your favorite League of Legends skins and champions with Gamer.